some information about uh, bunkering on board. So, what are all the things uh, that we need to do before uh, taking bunker? Uh, what is uh, bunkering? Uh, bunkering is nothing but taking fuel for uh, our propulsion system and power plant for the ship. So, what are all the things that we need to do before uh, taking bunker? So, uh, first thing is uh, we need to uh, no, like we need to plan how much bunker we are going to take. See, uh, suppose uh, if it is a container vessel, like uh, if it is doing fixed port, then uh, you don't need to plan how much amount of uh, fuel you need because it is all planned earlier only. The company knows this much of fuel to be given in this particular port. So for one voyage, that amount of fuel is enough with regards to backup fuel and everything. So, if it's not in that case, like if you need to plan for bunker, all you need to do is you have to calculate the amount of amount of days, number of days that you save from A port to B port. Suppose 10 days, you are uh, saving 10 days and if per day you are uh, consuming 30 tons and for 10 days you need 300 tons. And apart from that, you need to have a backup for 3 days. So, uh, 300 plus 3 days backup will be 90, that total comes to 392. So, this is how you have to plan your bunker quantity when ordering bunker to company. So, what are all the things? So, once you concluded with the amount, quantity of fuel which you are going to take, then comes where you are going to store the bunker fuel. That means, suppose you say, uh, for me, uh, uh, I am going to take 3500 mt of uh, metric ton of fuel in the next port. So, I have uh, total tanks. I have this much of tank. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 number of tank I have in this 4 tanks have already fuel. So always keep it in mind uh, do not uh, take bunker in a tank where old fuel is already there. That means I should not take fuel oil in this 4 tank. I have to take fuel oil, I have to plan to take fuel oil only in the other tank where, is the, where there is no fuel. So, you have to plan in such a way, you should not mix the fuel oil to the tank in which already oil is there. So, I am going to take uh, say 3500 metric ton of fuel oil, HFO, whatever, VNSO, okay. So, VNSO. So, for this, I have to uh, distribute in all the other tanks. Say I have 4, 5, 6, 7. So total uh, 14 tanks I have. So maximum you can take in each tank 85 percentage. Some companies they even allow to take 90 percentage. But for me, I always prefer to take not more than 80 percentage. So this will be a safety margin when you are uh, taking bunker. So, that depends on company, yeah? but mostly most of the companies tell us to take 85 percentage. Some companies tell 90, but for me, I always take a bunker in such a way, we don't exceed 80 percentage in any of the tank where I am going to take bunker. So, so, first thing is how much quantity you need, that is already planned. And you have to inform company, company will confirm that this much of fuel is going to be supplied. Next, where you are going to take the fuel, that is what we call it as bunker loading plant, which I told now. So that will be in the paper. So this is the bunker loading plan. This is the bunker loading plan. We call it a bunker pre-loading plan. So as I said earlier, I don't prefer to take not more than 80 percentage. So you can see here uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
total seven tanks. I am taking seventy five percentage in one tank. Three tanks I am taking seventy five, and four tanks I am taking eighty percentage. That means this will be enough to accommodate three thousand two hundred metric ton of fuel oil. So this is the bunker pre loading plan that. we need to provide and we need to keep during bunker is going on so this uh, bunker pre loading plan will give you a approximate idea so when you know this much sounding we will get this much percentage of fuel in the tank then you will be confident enough to change over the fuel oil uh, supply to other tank so next next you need to do is uh, Yeah. So bunker plan once bunker quantity is done, bunker plan is done. Next, you need to do is super drill, which you call it as uh, bunker bunkering drill. Basically, the idea of doing the super drill is in case if you face uh, any kind of uh, pollution line. So, what are all the actions that you need to do during? Any kind of uh, fuel related pollution at sea during bunkering, at port during bunkering. So that drill will be happening, and once the drill is happened, that should be recorded. So that is that will be recorded in the logbook also, and then we have to keep a bunker pre meeting. So bunker meeting you call it as. So bunker meeting, what you do is we have to collect all the Ship crews. So we will inform each and every one, like what, how much bunker we are going to take, what all bunker we are going to take, which tank we are going to take, and also discuss the duties during bunker. Like most of the engine room people will be involved in the bunker operation, and tech people will be involved in assisting bunker. Like right? when barge bunker barge comes, they will be helping to get the bunker barge alongside, and they will be helping. the rowing activities when bunker is going on so all this thing will be planned will be discussed in bunker meeting so this three things are done four things are done one is first you are bunker quantity then loading plan then super drill another thing regarding super drill is you have to do the super drill before 24 hours of bunker so and then you have to do the pre bunker meeting so next but the meeting is done so next what you need to do is we have to fill checklist bunker checklist so we have to do uh, yeah so this is the pre training uh, pre bunker training record eh? this is what so this contains what are all the things discussed during the pre bunker training okay so this should be in place and then next next we need to fill the checklist which is very very important before taking bunker so we have to fill two kind of checklist one is marcore checklist another is is got checklist so marcore checklist is nothing this is the marcore checklist annex 6 and it contains name of the ship port of bunkering the how much quantity or who was the supplier product name and main thing that we need to see in this uh, bunker checklist is you have to check the sulfur content suppose the limit is if you are taking uh, mgo you have to fill this 14.1 and if you are taking vlsfo that is 14.4 so this will give you the limit value for sulfur sulfur value should be entered here so how you get the sulfur value huh? so before taking the bunker only the bunker bar guy will give you the uh, test result of the bunker fuel which he is going to supply to us in that you will get the reading of sulfur how much is the sulfur percentage in that fuel so that you have to fill it up and then what all things are uh you can see here a huh? sampling point sampling point and thing all those what is the pre sample seal everything a huh? seal so seal i will tell you later 
and uh, some regarding the secure uh, commands of delivery name of the bunker tank and everything so you have to fill this checklist before taking bunker and then the second checklist is is got to so international uh, safety guide for oil tanker and terminal bunker checklist so this is nothing eh? this will be for both our receiving ship and uh, the ship which is going to give also suppose checks pre plan pre planning stage of the receiving ship so you can uh, total there is around uh, you can see a part a part b uh, part c around uh, till f you have the checklist you have to fill everything at uh, i j k till k means this checklist will contain information right from the beginning beginning of bunker before the before planning stage it start from the planning stage of receiving ship and it ends with checks before disconnecting that means this checklist contains information about the receiving ship and the ship which is going to give bunker that means we it contains how much uh, whether the bunker plan like how much meter cube they are going to supply how much time they take how much quantity they supply everything will be recorded and also the how we do the communication suppose in case of emergency what are all the signal that you need to give in case of uh, normal activity what mode you are going to use when you want to communicate something with the barge so all this thing will be here in this bunker is got checklist so next step next we need to prepare sampling bottles sampling bottles when uh, bunker is before bunker is happened so these are all the sampling bottles so usually we take four one for mark hole and one for vessel one for bunker barge and one for lab analysis and this one uh, sometime the bunker surveyor who come on board uh, he will take one sample one sample so total five number of sample bottle and each sample bottle will be having a seal number so suppose uh, this seal is used for this mark hole you have to record it and you have to fill this this is your uh, sampling whatever uh, details all details you have to mention then you have to take and stick it in the bottle sample bottle so this is what sample bottle should be collected and the one that we are giving for testing uh, testing should be again same it need a seal it need a bottle and that bottle should be kept inside the cover and then it should be kept in the box and then along with the landing report we have to send it for analysis the idea of keeping the bottle in cover is to avoid any spill so no, this is the idea so next thing is uh, always maintain your bunker file the bunker file will be like this so what all the bunker papers everything you have to keep it in your file so i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, what are all the things that we need to do for uh, taking bunker on board ship thank you